Many thanks for joining us on the show today. This is Plus Sports and Plus TV Africa, where we bring you the best when it comes to sports analysis. Well, this morning I've got a guest and uh, we'll be looking at the issues bugging grassroots and also how sports can be used to recreate hospitality, fitness and talent hunt, and of course, youth bonding through um, sports. And uh, we'll be looking at the project as well. I've got uh, Olumide Aturu, who the founder and director of Five Stars Football and Consultancy Limited. Welcome to the show. Thank you so much. It's Sadaka. been a long time. It's really been. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and uh, of course, I know you've been doing a lot of things uh, when it comes to the world of sports, trying to bring up um, the youths. Yeah, we've been trying our best. Exactly. <laughs> yes. All right, um, sports has risen in recent years for several reasons, most significantly an increased emphasis on uh, health and fitness and the increase of sporting events and grassroots sports as well is a means where talents are discovered and also not just till they become one of the greats or rather they become the GOATs, talking about uh, the greatest of all time. Olumide will be telling us more about this and also how we can better our sports. Uh, now let's start off with uh, Five Stars Football. Can you brief us on what um, the brand is all about? Yeah, so the brand was born out from uh, the passion oh. from uh, football. Yeah. So while growing up uh, as a kid, we always had passion to play football mm. and then uh, he metamorphosed to, since we couldn't play professionally, mm. so he metamorphosed to us, making others play professionally, mm. one, making others get education, inclusive sports, yeah. two, and then making sure it affects the economy of our nation. Mm. So uh, these all uh, qualities are, are merged together to actually uh, burn out the brand mm. Five Stars five Football. Stars. Yeah. Now, talking about um, um, education, because I know most people think education and sports don't go hand in hand, but hey, if you must be a sportsman, you should also have a level of education because there are some terms in sports that you need to understand. Uh, and if you don't have a certain level of education, you just might be uh, thrown off a uh, balance in, in that one. Now, um, sports in general has become um, the go-to thing in Nigeria and all over the world. Exactly. Everyone thinks, or everybody seems to be running towards that angle because there's a lot of money to be made mm. in it. Mm -hmm. Now we also have our grassroots, the younger ones who think that um, that's where the greener pastures lie. Now, um, your brand, Five Stars Food, because I know I, I attended one of your um, grassroots uh, tournaments one time, and I know a couple of guys that actually emerged from some, some came from um, outside Lagos and all, and uh, I'm sure they're doing well yeah. today. So, yeah. now, how would you say this can help the future of football in Nigeria? Okay, uh, like you mentioned, mm. they're doing well today. Mm. So if we have more of such initiatives, mm. if we have such uh, activities replicated all around the country, yeah. we'll have more people doing well. Mm. And these people doing well will actually uh, encourage others to pick up education with uh, football mm. or other sports. So. Yeah. In a way, it has actually reduced the 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 people who are actually not doing anything. Mm. People who actually have a passion for um, playing football yeah. or other sports. It will actually increase their participation uh, in general. So, mm. basically, uh, we have a lot going, and then you already know how these things are. And the more particip uh, participation from people mm. out there the better it gets uh, mm. to the populace. Mm, very true. Now, um, let's talk about um, talent hunt. Because um, I've met a couple of coaches who spoke about the talents that they um, discovered in, in, in this. What is the, um, how do you pick these people that come for football tournaments? How do you get to select quality players? And how do you get to convince their parents to allow them um, play football? Yeah, so basically football or sports, uh, mm. it's, a, it's, it's a passionate thing. So you can't stop anybody who is passionate, uh, most especially when they are very good at it. So mm. that's why um, people or parents don't have a choice than mm. to let their words go out for such a, a tryouts or at the end go for what they want to do. Mm -hmm. So uh, like myself, when I was growing up, uh, yeah, my parents didn't actually want me to play football. but at the end of the day, they saw the need why I should play, even mm. though I didn't play professionally. But now look at someone who is going to play professionally and he gets picked from many of these uh, trial sessions mm. and then gets, uh, to, uh, he gets a slot to yeah. any of these countries where mm. they are doing well. So it's, a, it's an automatic feeling when you have 
passion for what you want to do mm. and you are being selected for what you intend to do so uh, the parents or uh, the guardians won't have a choice than mm. to release their words release yeah. their words because yeah. I've, I've seen a couple of um tournaments that you held not just in lagos there was mm. also one in i think it was abuja yeah abuja, abuja cup. Cup. now you're bringing the cup to lagos for us to enjoy mm. football because we we all know that lagos um is a center yeah. for football mm. excitement Excellence. and all that yes. now i'm um, going straight to the um tournament now what should we expect that's on the 16th of february february yes mm. so basically this particular tournament is woven around the hospitality industry mm. and then uh, we're trying to merge entertainment with hospitality mm. so um, talent can be seen anywhere mm. so this uh, particular sector has uh, more of people actually into entertainment and okay. uh, they, they try to be hospitable in their services so the staff and customers were trying to bring them together okay. and then uh, for it's a it's a day competition Mm. So teams ranging from nightclubs, lounges, restaurants, and all of that in Lagos will be participating. Mm. We had the first edition last year, and then this is the second edition, and it promises to be better. Better. Now, because um, you, you talked about entertainment, there's, there's been a lot of um, complaint from the sports sector that we use. We tend to um, look at the entertainment sector um, to bring in fun into the sporting world. Mm. What happens to bringing in the former players probably from the super eagles of Nigeria. what happens to them because some some guys complain that why do we keep using entertainers as ambassadors for football exactly so why do we keep doing this why can't we just have our former players our ex-internationals be the ambassadors of the sports that they represent okay so basically um as a person or as a brand mm. uh we are actually in talks with uh, daniel mokachi okay. we are in talks with uh, kanu wako we are in talks with ahmed musa mm. we are in talks with one of uh, like these are Nigerian mm. finest players and yeah. bo both uh, legends and then the ones that still play. Still well, playing. also in talks with uh, uh, Igalo that just uh, got uh, to, Manchester uh, United. to Manchester United. Okay. So we're actually trying to leverage on these uh, superstars to encourage grassroots sports, mm. grassroots football. They are actually interested and we are excited that they are. So. Yes, entertainers can actually be brand ambassadors mm. too, but uh, it has to be uh, in a way where they come in. Like, so, because basically, football is, is it has to connect back to football. Mm -hmm. So, like football celebrities has to be part of football initiatives. So, mm -hmm. but you can't rule out entertainment because yeah. even in the world biggest clubs and um, leagues, they still have entertainers Same, as yeah. ambassadors for their True. for their events because. The blend of entertainment is what brings people to come and watch the mm. football. So you can't run away from entertainment when it comes mm. to driving traffic back to the stadium, mm -hmm. when it comes to making people talk about it after the match, mm. and then when it comes to also making players and also team managers and the spectators to have... It's, it's a revolving thing, so it has to blend everybody together. But mm. at the same time, we need to engage our football celebrities. We mm. need to engage, especially our legends. True. So they need to work more and then be part of sports initiatives, which yeah. are they are currently doing. I'm sure yeah. they're very responsive to your call. Now, um, the entertainers, I think this is another means of um, publicity for our local league, talking about the Nigerian Professional yeah. Football League. We need to bring in a whole new vibe on how we can entertain and, of course, uh, um, tease the fans to come into the stadium and watch the football that will play on the local scene. Talking about at the NPFL, especially back here in Lagos, where MFM plays at football. Let's go out there and support the local sports, and I'm sure we'll do, we'll do well. Now, the competition proper, a one-day competition, what are the prizes that, uh, w that might be won? And uh, there's one, there's one, one of my concerns is uh, these talents that will be discovered, mm. what is the plan, the long-term plan? Mm. Are they going to eventually feature for the age grade um, Eagles and some they get to play for the Super Eagles. Is there a connection with the Nigerian Football Federation? Yeah, um, let me not lie to you. When you are good, you are good. Mm. When you are good, when you see uh, a star, a talent, you know this is a talent. So it automatically speaks for themselves. Like mm. the last event that we had in Abuja, the most valuable player, the most valuable player had uh, a, a direct slot and because it was got him uh, scouted okay and he's going to russia so when you're good it's you don't need to do a lot people mm. just know oh, this guy is good and then he has to play for this when we're in 
connections with uh, um, a lot of scouting agencies mm -hmm. and people are willing to help good players you mm. know well, so our last league was endorsed by the nff oh, wow. so yeah yeah so basically we are we are trying our best to make sure these things are also formal and official mm. yeah so all right uh, thank you very much uh, Lumide Aturu for coming on the show any last words before um, you leave yeah so basically we as a brand we are trying our best to actually promote and encourage grassroots sport development in nigeria mm -hmm. And then I, I, so far, I've been seeing a lot of people trying to do the same thing. So the more the more noise, uh, the more noise we make, the more uh, advocacies, the better it gets because yeah. the government can't do everything. True. So we need to also take up responsibilities mm. as uh, in, um, citizens to yeah. encourage this. And then I'm sure with more voices, we will get there. Mm. With more voices, we will get there, talking mm. about grassroots sports. And of course, uh, the media actually gives support to this because this is what would enhance our uh, sports and someday will become one of the great world beaters mm. right there. I like to say a Nigerian emerge as a world best player, and not just in football, in all other sports, even in the Olympics, let's win all the gold medals right there. 